What's going on guys? Clutch here once again. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at a new map for Farming Sim 19. This is a mod map for PC. This mod map is called Hawks Bay. It's a uh, New Zealand based map. Uh, yeah, very large map, big open fields. Lots of farming to be done here guys. So uh, let's go in, check her all out. See what we got to play with here. All right, let's jump in the truck and get to our pitter patter. Clutch simulations. All right, folks, so we're starting off with new farmer mode right now. Obviously, the stuff here on this main farm that we're starting off at, you're not going to get if you don't choose any other mode, but this is new farmer mode. Uh, I thought I'd start off with that. And uh, as you can see, there's some pretty big fields all around us in here. Uh, yeah, anyways, this is the starting equipment. One of the first things I noticed right when I popped into this map uh, that I thought was kind of interesting, you start on this main farm here and you end up with all your animals ready to rock, but they're also already animals here. You already own animals. You can see we got some chickens. Uh, if I run over here, we got some cows. We've got horses. We've got pigs. We've got uh, actually no. Do we, I don't know if we have pigs. We got sheep for sure. I don't think we have pigs. I don't have pigs yet. Anyways, uh, but anyways, all of our we have livestock in all the pens already, which is uh, I don't think I've seen that on any other map before. It's kind of interesting to pop into a map and already have livestock ready to go. So you better get farming right off the bat. Um, as for the map itself, it is yeah, it's a good size. I'll bring up the map here in a second. But uh, in behind, you can see we started with a couple fields as well. Fields five and six down in the bottom left corner. You can see those. So we start with those. Uh, and there's one other one, I believe. We'll take a look here in a sec. But uh, they're smaller in the grand scheme of things, but they're still pretty big. Jump across this fence here. I think the dilapidated car in the corner. That's cool. All right. So these are the fields right here that uh, we start with, as you can see. There's two smaller ones. It's not going to take much to get through these ones. And then over on that hillside right there, that brown patch, uh, it's ready to, ready to go for you as well. So it's, uh, yeah, just grass right now. You need to plant this. You need to plow and plant, get going to work. See, this one's grass as well. So yeah, nothing ready. it's nothing that's ready to harvest. You need to get to work on these ones right away. But that's what you start with. All right. Now, looking at the fields, there is one other thing you're going to notice with this map. This is a multi-fruit map. Uh, bounce back over here. Um, now, if you happen to see our live stream eh, about a week ago, it's a multiplayer live stream we had going on. Or if you're familiar with it, it's the Taylor Farms map that's out for FS19 right now. It, this is by the same uh, map creator. So you're going to find that I think most of his maps are going to be multi-fruit. So if we go into uh, our prices list, you're going to find that we've got icons for all sorts of different fruits. So you've got the stuff you're going to be familiar with from barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soybeans. But wait a minute, that's different. I'm going to keep on scrolling down here. Uh, potatoes, yeah, sugar beets, okay. Cotton, sugar cane, eggs, wool. Yeah, that's all normal. Wait a minute. Uh, let's see. There we go. Now, carrots, onions, uh, I can't even pronounce what that one is. Millet, is that what it is? Uh, anyways, these are all obviously a little bit different than what we are used to. So you're going to need something a little bit different for that. There are mods that are available to uh, to harvest these types of crops, but just be aware, this map does have multi-crop on it, uh, and you'll need to have some different mods for that. Let's, uh, let's go take a quick look around this map. As you can see, this is our main farm. We've already been kind of exploring that. Um, very large fields. Let's hop in the truck here. We got all faithful here. You guys might remember this truck. Uh, let's see if I can spin around. It's this little spot right here. I'm gonna drive over there and take a quick look. But it's almost like they got a bit of an island area with a creek, the creek, the river that runs through the middle of the map. Let's jump through here. No. All right. So we'll take a quick look at this little interesting spot I found. Uh, oh yeah, we're in New Zealand, so uh, roads are opposite. <laughs> now there are also a few of these areas around the map, so this actually is a really good map for multiplayer farming, just because there's quite a few open blank areas that you can set up other farms on if you so desire. Uh, highly recommend if you've got a server or something along those lines, might be a good choice for you. Uh, look at this. We've got a couple boats in here. I don't know how deep it is. I'm sure we could uh, jump in and find out. Little island out in the middle. That looks cool. Let's see if we can just make our way. So if I open up the bigger map, you can see the size of this map. Now, if I'm going straight north here, um, we're going quite a ways up. Now, most of the fields are fairly square, as you can obviously tell. A lot of different options though for fields. So like I said, multiplayer, definitely a good option here. 
We're going to go up to the Traders Post here, Hawks Bay Traders. And you can take a look at some of the size of these fields. Like I said, very, very good size. One thing I do like about them is that they do tend to, uh, they're like a rolling style of field. Oh, get off this thing here. Come on, let me buy. Perfect. All right, so this here is one of the sell points, as you'd expect. Now, just look at the way the fields are designed on this. Fairly high elevation gains and drops between the areas. Um, they're big fields, but they're not flat by any means. If you look, okay, let's bring up the big map here. And like I said, you can see that we are, where are we up here? Right up the north. So this is an absolutely massive field, but we're only seeing to about this point right here. Just massive and uh, just rolling, big rolling hills on it. So let's go take a quick look around. We'll zoom around this a little bit faster now so you guys can have at least a, an idea what we're looking at. I'll bring up the old sand castle and warp right on out. So once again, here's our main farm and I'll show you where we went. Um, up above so this here takes us by the uh the island <laughs> i don't know what this place is all about interesting uh yeah so anyways we'll get up to the top here here's our big rolling hills and if i from the top if you zoom way out it doesn't look like it's all that hilly but if i zoom in you can certainly see this could give you a bit of an interesting struggle with some of the combines if you had some of the larger ones i will help i'll have enough horsepower let's be honest the big ones do have enough horsepower to handle that, but uh, get this out of the way. There we go. Let's see if I zoom back out. We got another cell point up here in the very top corner. Bring up the map again so you can see where we are here. So we're up at the grain mill in the top right-hand corner of the map, up by 47. You can see the fields that kind of just go down along the way here. Um, I'll warp over to the far side here. We'll go take a quick look at the very far end. There's a really nice area here that uh, goes through the trees. So this is a logging mill, logging camp, logging, the lumber mill right in here logging cell point <laughs> y'all get it eventually uh yeah so this is the main point here for logging but uh if we zoom in across the bridge this road is crazy so this is obviously all logging areas in here look at this little road they got cut through the woods ah it looks so good in here this kind of runs through the woods fantastic and obviously you got a little bit of a dirt trail that runs through in here for uh, for some logging action. Is there a parking lot anywhere in here? I can't remember. Wow, it gets tight. Uh, no, it just runs through all the way through. All right, we'll zoom out of this, get out the back side here. Uh, I can't see. There we go, back out. I think, there we go, this is the road we're on. So once we come out the far side, uh, now we are down on the coastline. And I suppose this would be Hawks Bay, I believe. Uh, you can see we've got the dock down here. Hey, there's the whale. <laughs> uh, cool. You got the New Zealand flag flapping in the wind. And if you look off to the side, there's some more giant fields. Look at the size of these fields. They're so big. And actually, this hill, this hill might actually give you a bit of a struggle with some of the combat. Like, look at the steepness on this thing. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty steep. Anyways. Uh, if we zoom back over this side here, you're going to find we have a small town in that area. What is this? <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. Oh, we've got a fountain that's been uh, left up there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you've got a small town on the beach. Little brewery. Nice. I like that. Uh, and then we've got some more fields that go up north past the rest of the small little beach town area up here. Some more houses that kind of dot the, uh, the side of the road all the way back up. Oh, we've got a McDonald's. Your fuel station. You got a couple of other placeables areas up here. So you can put your own cell points down, I guess. Uh, and then you're kind of heading back towards your farm. Uh, let me just double check here. Oh, yeah, that's right. Here's our uh, the vehicle purchase areas right in front of us there. And then the biogas plants right up there as well. So the big thing is you've got a multi, multi fruit map, lots of huge fields, guys. Uh, and the fields, like they, they're large. But they're definitely not flat, so they're going to give you a little bit of a, a struggle for certain implements, that's for sure. Look at this thing. Look at this. Look at this field. Look at the hill elevation change you're going to be doing trying to climb up this. Pretty cool. And there's our map, right, our, our main farm right here. So we'll come on back. Anyways, guys, that is Hawks Bay. Uh, another fantastic map from this mod developer. I know he's got another one uh, working right now. He's working on a new map. We'll see what else comes in the, in the near future. But uh, yeah, if you like big maps, big fields, 
maybe check this one out. I'll make sure the link is in the description, as always. And uh, yeah, go download and give it a shot. Pretty cool. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the old like button. If you're not a subscriber, don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you guys next time. This is Clutch. Over and out.